Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC, and today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. So this here on the table, of course, you guys know what this is. It's a key bar, right? It holds your keys, it organizes them, and makes it easier for you to get your keys out and unlock doors. That's what it's for, but it could be for something else. So custom Swiss Army knives are very popular. They're also expensive, and it's not exactly easy to get a truly custom Swiss Army knife. So you get one like this from Brassworks. My friend John Smith makes this. And I did get it customized in that I got an electrician blade on a Pioneer X. But to get something truly custom where you pick the tools, it's not easy. So I had the bright idea of doing just that with a key bar. So here we are with a do-it-yourself Swiss Army knife using a key bar. Let's do the damn thing. Hear me out. This is a little bit of an out there concept, but I I came to Keybar with this idea and they really liked it. And and I really do too, com to be completely honest. So your typical Keybar may look like this with probably fewer tools. You might have two keys on it and that's it. And that's totally fine because that's what it's originally intended for is to organize your keys. That's it. Just keep them from jingling. Keybar's slogan is kill the noise. You've got your Orbit key, key bar, key smart, tons and tons of key organizer options out there now, but people have also realized that, hey, these things are kind of similar to a Swiss Army knife, right? It's not too far of a stretch from this. These are not that different. And because of that, you saw things like this pop up. This is a flat head attachment or insert for the key bar, right? So you have effectively this tool right here on your key organizer and you can start replacing the various tools on your Swiss Army knife. There's some give and take with it, right? You can get this whole knife with all of these tools for about 50 bucks, 45, 50 bucks. This screwdriver insert is 20. So they can get a little pricey, but you can get the screwdriver, both inserts as a bundle for 30. So if you're gonna go for it, just go for it, right? In this one, I have tweezers which I would normally want to carry those on a key, like my keychain, but now I've got tweezers in the key bar. One thing I don't like going without is a nail file, and that might sound weird, but if I have a little bit of a hangnail or anything, if I bite my nail just to get some off because I don't have scissors or clippers or whatever, I will bite it and file it. Uh, I love having a file. That's one thing I complained about with the, the Leatherman Free P4, is that it didn't have a fine file because I used that file on the Leatherman Wave a ton, mainly for my fingernails. So you can get a nail file for your key bar. And then the other insert I have on here, which I don't really use a ton, is the toothpick insert. Uh, they call it a pick, but it's, it's a toothpick. But there are tons and tons of inserts. For years, I carried a key smart with a Griffin pocket tool insert and an interchangeable bit screwdriver and a knife. I wanted to bring this idea to you guys. What if you started replacing your keys on the key bar and turned it into a DIY multi-tool or a DIY Swiss Army knife? It actually turned out to be kind of cool. So I want to show you. So I'm going to take this back apart because uh, I just started a $100 budget challenge and I can't carry this key bar anyway. So I'm going to take my keys off because I have to have my keys back. So here we have a blank slate and we can kind of go in a lot of directions with it. But here's the thing. This is what got me thinking. So I have several Swiss Army knives. I got more at home. And then I've got this Boker Plus uh, tech tool that is very much like a Swiss Army knife with a pocket clip. The thing is, you're always going to be limited to whatever their options are. You can get a Swiss Army knife customized. But this knife would run you with a pocket clip, the titanium scales, the stone washing, or the acid etching, and the custom tools. It's going to run you... $250, $300. The turnaround time on these can be months and months and months. Finding a maker that will still do a custom tool, because John no longer does this, finding someone who will do that, not easy. It's very hard. The lead times are insane. It is very difficult to build your own tool like this. My favorite Swiss Army knives are the Cadet, the Pioneer, Pioneer X, any of these Alox versions, really but you're just kind of limited in tools. You know, some of them have, 
you know, these flip Phillips that are in the bottom that flip out. I don't like these because you, you don't really have, you're, you're limited in how you can use it. And getting one with an inline Phillips is not easy. And then if you get one with the Phillips, it may not have the scissors. You know, like it's just very difficult to piece together the Swiss Army knife you want. And it, even then it might cost you $200, $300 and it might take you six months to get it. So that's why I came up with this idea. And it's not perfect, but it's actually pretty neat. I have this right here, which we'll talk about the bottle bomber. And this and I'm not going to use this, but this is the key rubiner, so you can actually put this on a keychain as well with a little carabiner built in as one of the tools. Okay, so this has to go together a very specific way, especially when you're dealing with tools like your screwdrivers and the utility knife insert because these these are stops. So you have to put it together a very specific way. And on, I've, I've, it takes a lot of trial and error to get this right. And I spent a lot of time taking it apart and putting it back together. But this is what I came up with. On the side with the deep carry clip. So this is the deep carry clip 3.0, I believe. It doesn't come with a standard. Um, I used the flathead and I put that face down so that the stop actually works. And the way that works is when it opens, it'll actually kind of lock in place fully extended. So put on a washer, then put on the flathead, and then put another washer on, and then I put on the tweezers that face in the same direction. And the orientation does matter in making this actually one-handed, which I will get to. So then another washer, and then I did the file, then a washer, and the bottle bomber, which went on this way, I believe. And then a washer, and we'll just try to balance that and hope we don't knock it over. Okay, on the other side, these are actually technically supposed to go on separate. So you wanna put this on first, so that those stops hit the edge of the tool. And then this goes on like this. And it's okay if it's loose for now. We'll get snugged up later. Then you want to put on a washer. Then the pick. And you're just trying to make sure that they don't interfere with the tools on the opposite side. Okay, so to make this work, I'm remembering now that I think I put on three washers. So maybe it was two between this one. You just got to space it out so it closes evenly. So two washers. Two washers. Where's my other washer? I thought I had a... Oh, there it is. Okay, so then we're going to finish with the Phillips head and one last washer. Close it all off. We want to install the deep carry clip and line up those threaded holes. Once you get those threaded holes locked in, use a flathead to start tightening it down. You just want to make sure you get it, uh, everything lined up right too. So you don't want to tighten it down with this, this separated plate for your utility knife. You want to keep those, make sure they're lined up right before you really start cinching it down. But just go slowly on either side, wiggle the tools around a little bit, see if they're working right. I think I got this exactly how it was supposed to go. Imagine that. Okay, cool. So you move them around, you'll see how they nest and then tighten it a little bit. Move it the other one around to see how they're nesting, if they're nesting correctly. They are, looks like, and I think we can just tighten it down the rest of the way. And before we do, we want to install a blade in the utility knife. So pull out one of these replaceable blades. It comes with a pack of 10, I think, or a pack of six. I don't remember. And there's a little hole that you're aiming for. Just nest the blade over that hole and it locks into place, locks shut and tighten it the rest of the way down. And here's the benefit to this, because it, it's in some ways totally impractical, right? We'll get to why, um, namely price, but it's very thick, but it's also very, very lightweight. 
This one right here with all of these tools is 2.95 ounces. So it's under three ounces for all of this. So your cadet is 1.6 ounces. This is 3.31 ounces. And this one is 2.95 ounces. So this comes in at under three ounces. I don't have the weight on the titanium, but the copper is 4.86 ounces. This is almost five ounces. Uh, this one is probably around the same weight because it's that three layer versus a two layer. Uh, I don't have the weight on the Boker plus tech tool either. So you're getting a very lightweight tool, but what you don't get with any of these is one, the option to remove or add tools as new tools come out. So this is just the tools that I picked. Key bar, I'm just gonna pull this over here real quick. Key bar also has a mini pin. So they've got a pin insert. You have a fork that you can put on here, a divot tool. So if you're a golfer, there's a divot tool. There's the key rabiner, which I showed you. Uh, there's another deep carry clip, so if you don't like this one, they have an older version of a deep carry clip. There's a comb. There is a smoke tool set, so if you smoke, they've got a, a tool set for basically packing a pipe. Um, a flash drive insert, a flashlight insert, and tons and tons and tons of different key bar designs. They've got some milled titanium. They have some really, really cool designs. They've got aluminum, if you wanna go on the lower end and save a little money. They've got copper, if you don't care about weight. This is a way that you can make a tool entirely the way you want it. And no, it's not cheap. So I did a little math. The screwdriver insert bundle is $34.95. The toothpick is $6.95. The utility blade is $29.95. The nail file is $13.95. Tweezers, $9.95. Bottle bomber is $14.95. The deep carry clip is $24.95. And this version of the key bar, the carved titanium is $69.95. So this exact kit, which I think I may also have the extension that might come with that, um, within about five or $10, this is about $220 for this key bar setup. So it's not cheap, but it is almost entirely titanium. The only thing not titanium are the washers and the screws everything else and the blades everything else is 100 percent titanium um, a lot of you guys go nuts over titanium obviously it's not always the best tool for the job but it's extremely lightweight extremely tough and it's entirely one-handed that's something you do not get with any of those it is one-handed look at that pull out the knife close it if i want the, the pick one-handed uh, this side i also have the phillips one-handed Every tool on this is one-handed. And it gets a little better once you start tightening it down. Uh, some of your tools will come out like that. Once you have it set for a little while, you can tighten it and adjust it a little bit and they will only pop out one at a time. Um, or if you need to, you can practice just pulling this and keeping your finger there to keep them closed. But the last time I had it together like this, everything was one-handed and nothing came out when I didn't want it to. So you can get to every single tool one-handed on this key bar and that is just really really neat so is it totally practical is it going to work for everybody no would i recommend it to everybody no honestly i mean you've got a leatherman that will do more than this for less you don't have scissor inserts for your key bar but you can get a different knife insert so the utility knife insert on this i've got a few problems with um i've been using it i like it but I was cutting leather with it when I was cutting some lanyards a while back and I was pushing really hard. The blade popped out and it hurt. <laughs> My finger slid down the blade, sliced it open pretty good. Um, not super secure, but for light duty stuff, cutting strings, cutting open boxes or whatever, these are really, really great for general purpose. This thing's really neat. It is expensive for what it is, but it is a way that you can build the tool that you want and if you wanted, you can add your keys to it. So you have basically a Swiss Army knife or multi-tool plus your keys in a fairly compact package. You're not carrying two or three things, you're carrying just one. And I think that's really, really cool. I, I like this setup. I've been carrying this for weeks now, off and on. I haven't carried it every day, but the screwdrivers, the tweezers and the nail file have all come in handy. I've not really used the bottle opener because everything has a bottle opener and I've not really used the pick a ton but just wanted to let you guys know that this is an option and you don't have to buy it all at once you don't have to spend that $200 up front you could get a $35 aluminum key bar or whatever key organizer you already have you can add these tools to that and you can do it piecemeal so if you only wanted let's say the file the tweezers 
and maybe a flathead. That's gonna cost you about 30 or 40 bucks on the key organizer you already have. So having all these tools on your keys, everything quick access one-handed is, is really, really neat. I just wanted you guys to know that this is an option available to you. That is gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you're interested in the key bar or any of the inserts or anything we talked about in this video, it's all linked down below. You also have a coupon code for key bar. It's right here. If you use that code, you'll get a little bit of a discount. You can also go to carry.best to buy gear directly from me, such as this shirt, other merch, and actual gear like a Giltek ruck and different tools but you can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc. And of course, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And the guy behind the camera, you can find him at Jabin Starnes and all of those places. So with that said, and until next time, carry on.